Hello. It was 20 years ago today Sergeant Pepper taught the band to play. The opening song of the famous Beatles album Sergeant Pepper. Another song on the same album has the words Will you still need me? Will you still feed me? When I'm 64. Well, I have left 64 behind and I've now got my bus pass. But it was 20 years ago. 20 years, they have flown by. Back in March 2001, I had attended an interview for the post of Regional Minister Team Leader. In the evening, I was preparing to leave the house to chair a church meeting at Durham City Baptist Church. And shortly before I left the house, Paul Merton, uh, the moderator of the association at the time, and a friend uh, from my teenage years, if not earlier, rang me to inform me that I was to be recommended for the appointment to this ministry. I had enough time just to tell Janet and Yvonne and Tim, but then I had to go and chair the church meeting at Durham as though everything was normal. Life and ministry was going to be different. I had experienced translocal ministry in the East Midlands and was glad and excited to have the opportunity to serve our Northern Baptist Association. It has been a great privilege and I've been blessed to serve in so many wonderful ways. Blessed by so many encouraging and supportive people. It's been a wonderful experience to serve amongst and within churches, to lead many inductions, sometimes to leave, lead inductions in the same church two or three times, to see manses variously decorated for different ministers, to see churches bounce back from distressing times, to see ministers grow and develop, to see new opportunities engaged with. There aren't so many stories that I would love to sh share, but now, is not the time. God has been faithful in so many wonderful and amazing ways. I want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your friendship, encouragement and support, your partnership in the gospel over all these years. I'm very conscious of all the help that has been given and that very little, if anything, is down to one person. As an association, we should be grateful for the many who serve behind the scenes, faithfully doing so, whose roles are unsung, and yet their service is such a great blessing to our common life, to the mission of many of our churches, and the support of many of our ministers. So a big thank you to all who help and serve in any way. I want to say a very heartfelt thank you too for all the gifts, the comments, the cards, the messages that Janet and I have received as I approach retirement. Your kindness is really amazing and we're really touched and very grateful and appreciate it all very much. Thank you so much for such kindness, such generosity. All ministry brings its challenges and demands as well as privileges and encouragements. This is true of regional ministry as well as local ministry. I have missed the opportunities of baptisms and weddings and funerals that come with local ministry, although I have been in involved in a few of each of those. On the other hand, it's been a great privilege to share in ordinations, inductions and other times of celebrations for ministers and for churches. It's been a privilege to engage in different relationships across the churches and beyond, all of which bring great opportunities to walk with people, to offer guidance, to be mutually enriched, to support and to see God's work as he enables churches to move forward in his purposes. It's by my privilege to represent our association in the wider life of our Baptist Union and ecumenical, ecumenical circles, all of which has enriched and developed my ministry and helped with local situations. Thank you for the privilege of allowing me to engage in further study at Durham University. It has been a personal blessing and I hope it has richly and blessed my ministry in the life of the association. 
The association team has changed and changed again over all these years with different people and different configurations. Yet we've always kept a focus on mission, on equipping and supporting people and churches, of being there for ministers and churches and others to help them and to support them. Each person who has shared in the team has brought their unique gifts, insights, wisdom and vision to enrich our life together. The paid staff team has been supplemented by many others, by moderators and treasurers and all sorts of other people who have walked with us at different times over these years. I have not named anybody for fear of missing someone out, for there are so many. And whilst we can talk about the association team, it is important to remember that we are one team working together for the gospel and for God's mission. Our association life has been enriched by a range of partnerships. Some were initiated by others outside the association team and others from within the team. Obviously, our most natural partnerships are with fellow Baptists in our Baptist Union and in the BMS World Mission. This has included helpful collaboration with other associations in the North and with Northern Baptist College, which has been particularly useful in supporting newly accredited ministers and in establishing a route for ministerial formation at Cranmer Hall in Durham. Beyond our shores, we have had good links with American Interim Pastoral Ministries based in Texas, which has enabled a number of our churches to receive interim ministers, helping them to move forward into the next chapter of their life and mission. Also, and again in Texas, we've had a mission partnership with Tryon Evergreen Baptist Association, which led to mission teams visiting our churches to stimulate and enable mission and sometimes to have a transforming effect on the life of that church. And also to teams from the NBA visiting Texan churches. Our links with Lithuania have continued for over 10 years with visits both ways, seeking mutual encouragement, support, training and help in church life and mission. We've continued our partnership across denominations, seeking to support one another in God's mission, finding ways of acting and speaking together across the denominations, praying for one another as well as supporting those churches which are local ecumenical partnerships. There is so much to say, so many to thank. There are, so many, there are so many individuals who have been a blessing to me and our association life. Too many for me to mention here. But I greatly appreciate all that has been done and recognise that we are family together in the mission of God. That mission continues as we follow his lead. Now we enter new chapters. For me, this takes me into a new calling, the calling of retirement, to see what doors God would open and what opportunities may come. For the association, the configuration of the team changes with a renewed emphasis on dreaming for a new future and the strategic transformation that God would bring about within the NBA. I have been blessed in so many wonderful ways on this journey and in our partnership in the gospel over the past 20 years. God bless you as you seek his will. God bless you all as you seek his purposes for the future, for the association, for each of our churches, for all who minister amongst us and all who serve amongst us in all the opportunities that God gives to us. May you know God's richest blessing. Thank you.